So I'm very excited to share these next few videos with you um, about point cloud modeling because this is something I've been trying to do for a long time. I was introduced to it a bunch of years ago, um, but it was a little bit cost prohibitive. Now the cost to get a point cloud has come down quite a bit. The equipment is far more accessible. Uh, and so I'm going to show you in the next couple of videos what a point cloud is, how you go about getting one, and some tips and tricks for modeling your existing conditions using a point cloud instead of field measuring a house yourself. The super short rundown is a point cloud is basically a data file made up of millions and millions of tiny little data points that together form an image and actually a 3D model uh, and you can bring this into Revit and then trace over it um, with walls, floors, windows, doors, all that stuff uh, and it's a better way to view the model and it's more accurate than your traditional field measure by hand. The way you get these, basically two ways. One, you can hire someone to do it or you can create it yourself. In the past, you needed someone who was sort of trained in doing this and they would have very, very expensive, like twenty, thirty, forty thousand dollar laser cameras. Nowadays you can do it with a three thousand dollar 3D camera or less, so I'll go over that with the equipment you need, but basically what I've been doing in lieu of buying the camera myself, I've been hiring a real estate photographer, um, the guys that do this kind of thing basically your real estate tour any any real estate tour like you see on Zillow or Redfin uh, the people who are doing this are usually using a camera called a Matterport Pro 3D uh, and it can create this and they have access to something called Matterpack files which you're going to need so I have been hiring a real estate photographer for about 400 bucks to scan the houses for me I get the Matterpack files and then I'm able to create uh, in Autodesk recap which I'll show you as well the point cloud I bring that into Revit and then I model over it uh, just the way I would model existing conditions if I had went to a house and measured it myself with my own laser and tape measure. So I have been doing this basically this year. I found this to be a much better workflow. It's more enjoyable. It's more accurate. Uh, and in the next couple of videos, I'm going to go into a little bit more detail of all those things I just covered.